seems I got a voice now. Quite honestly, this series has a much better story than the other one. I feel sorry for the poor bastard narrating that show. So anyways, we see a young girl. Wait, who is she? Oh. This is Jislina. Jislina is one of Mokoko's classmates. Although, she does not look like a white mage. Anyways, it seems she is on the phone with somebody. Yes, I am terribly sorry this has happened to you. I will get them ready right away. Jislina hangs up the phone. I know they will not stop after so many years. Now they are running amok. Well, time to call them. If they have any friends with them, they can come along if any of them have powers or weapons with them. Meanwhile, we get to see Makoko and the others in their day-to-day -day lives. Makoko and Hertemio are hanging out at the bakery, having some carrot fluffs pudding. Oh, I see what they did there. Oh, huh. Hertemio, I'm really having a good time. Same here. This is a really good bakery. Oh, how cute. Next, we see Viciarco working at Savers. Oh yeah, I forgot she works there. Welcome to Savers. With every donation you'll have, we'll give you a discount, Miele. That's the nicest thing she's ever said so far. Holy shit. Next, we see Sopekia and Nojant walking in the park. Sopekia is finally getting her feelings out without anyone, mainly Viciarco, interfering. Thank you. This was so getting annoying. So, what is that you want to talk about, Sopekia? No, John. T to put it subtly, I had a lot of strong and happy feelings when you helped me. You mean like... Oh? Yes. No, John. I love you. So, Pekia, I... well... I feel very happy right now. Yeah, I just kept this going to see it finally happen. Meanwhile, we see Milue and Tumiyoko having a discussion at the mall. Sis, I know you were mad at that guy for saying nasty things, but... Milue, that bitch deserved it. I swear, if I see his ass again and make a joke about my chest size, I will give him a swift in the... All of the sudden, both girls hear a beeping sound. Elsewhere, Makoko and Hertemio are hearing that beeping sound as well. She's... calling? Oh my! She's calling! She's calling! She's calling! Holy shit, something is up! While they figure out that something's going on, Hertemio and Makoko meet up with Miloe and Tumiyoko. Sorry if we're late. Oh man! I think I ran too fast! Hertemio softly pats Makoko's back. It'll be alright, Makoko. Just take it easy. So, you guys are here. Just then, Jislina appears before them. Jislina! Talk you short enough, actually. Is there any news you want to share with us? Yes, and Hertemio. You're not going to like of what I will say to you. Oh, how bad could it be? It's not like the black mages that Hertemio hung up with back in middle school are back. Actually, it is exactly that. What? Th they're back? Even after years of absence, they are back. W what are they going to do? Are they going after us? No. But my little sister snuck in and got the files. Jessalina opened some files she's mentioned. The people they are going after by the names of... So Pekia, Nojant, and Viciarco. Do you know them by any chance? I know Sobe-chan and Viziechan. I've met Nojant a couple times before, but not as much. So Pekia is my older sister. Older? This guy is like taller than anyone in the show. I don't really know much about Viziarco. Nojant. I do know because my sister talks about him all the time. Sis and I definitely know those three. So why the hell are those dickheads going after them? I don't know. Do you know if these guys have special abilities? Well, Sis can control the fire. Visi-chan has her eye beams. 
No job can hack a laser guns pretty well. Good, good. Also, I set up another member of you guys' group. Is it who I think it is? Yes, Tumayoko. It is your internet boyfriend. The very same one? The one that is more comfortable wearing a girl's uniform than wearing a guy's one? Yes. Just then, someone wearing the same uniform as Makoko, Miloe, and Tumiyoko walked towards them. I believe this is the character that's going to cause a lot of Tumblr arguments. Vervin. Makoko, Hertemio. This is Vervin. He'll be joining us. Hi there. I'm Makoko. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sure he knows our names, Makoko. I highly advise all of you to find these guys and prepare them into battle. They don't know what they'll be in. So Pekia would know. She knew what position I was in before I met Makoko. Not too sure about No Jaunt, though. I'm going to help Sobe Chan and VC Chan. Are you stupid, Makoko? They'll end up fighting each other than the enemy! Sis will know not to fight with an ally during battle. I highly doubt it, but okay. Makoko. I know you may not be the strongest, but please keep Sopeki and Viciarko from fighting each other during battle, okay? I'll try. Makoko is feeling a little uneasy because she's not too sure how this would be able to work for her. Her Temio gently pats her head. I know their fights can be very nasty at times, but I do believe that they can settle their differences with how dire the situation is. Believe in yourself, Makochan. Hearing those words from her Temio cheers Mikoko up. She runs out of the room happily, but looks back before she has to go. I will try my best! And there goes Mikoko. Hello! My name is Hiro, and I'm your average 18-year-old high school student. You can check out my accounts on Chemistry.com, eHarmony, OkCupid, or Christian People Meet. What's this doing here? There's a strange aura coming from it. The spirit can fulfill your desires in exchange for your soul? You only asked for a girlfriend! You didn't specify what kind! Oh, hero! We're gonna have so much fun together!